trying to make another trophy channel catfish attempt. And man, it is windy, windy, windy out here. I've put a wind muff on my new camera to see if it will cut out this wind. Hopefully it won't kill the audio. As you saw, there's a lot of boats going through here, so this is going to be real interesting tonight. We'll get some lines in the water and see if we can get a big channel cat. I'm only going to be using bluegill today. Cut bluegill and live bluegill. Once I get my bucket back. My buddy Alan and his family are catching bluegill for me right now. As you can see, this is going to be on the bottom and the live ones are going to be on floats. Now, where, where's Alan? Going to start off with a nice green sunfish. This guy's going to be on a catfish bobber and hooked live. And cut up bluegill for the bottom. and a bluegill for the other bobber. Well, this wind is just too much for the bobbers. So I'm going to take the bobbers off and I'm going to put sinkers on here. And just put the live bait on the bottom. If I don't do that, I'm going to have a hundred lines crossed. Of course, first thing I did was toss the bait right off the hook. All the lines are back out. Now it's just a waiting game. I hear musky baits. Is that catch them all, Cody? Yeah, it is. I bet Dylan's on there too, right? Yeah, Dylan. Or Dylan? Dylan? I don't even know how to pronounce his name. Yeah, Dylan. He's 
found my top secret spot. Yeah, I was just gonna say, now I've got your spot, son. <laughs> I've caught some big channel cats here. That's catch them all Cody out on the water. Whoops. Yep, it's springtime. All the boaters are out. I probably should have waited till nighttime to hit up the spot. Got something. This guy right here is a green sunfish. <laughs> the channel cat, I think. That one. Alan has taken his uh, family back to the house. So I'm here kind of stranded by myself until he gets back. Hopefully I'll be able to net this guy without falling in. Now that was difficult. Nice channel catfish on a live green sunfish. Love catching these guys. I don't think this guy's quite 30 inches. I've seen him get bigger than this here. So I'm gonna let him go. He's got ridges on his head, so I think this is a male. Nice one. I had to work hard for that fish. came off? <laughs> That's not the first time I've done that today. Really? Oops. How'd that happen? Okay, go and try this again. Hopefully I won't cast this guy off. Well, that's good. Got a catfish before dark. I'm going to continue into the night. I got my lights with me. So hopefully we'll get a trophy tonight. There he is. Fish on. a small one. Another channel cat. A little bit smaller than the first one. I guess the big guys haven't come in here yet. Eater size right here would make a nice sandwich but I'm going to put him back in the water. 
This may be a female too. There's no head bumps. Channel catfish. Now I gotta figure out how to get my line back out there. Another train's going through. Train bite. Oh, yeah. problem of casting one line over the other another small channel cat I'm gonna get this one out before I show you boy is it windy Bluegill's doing good for the little ones. Another channel cat. The sun's setting, so I'm guessing these guys are starting to feed. Time to get them back in the water. Alan had to go meet somebody. He may be going to eat with his wife too, so I don't think he's coming back. So I might cut this shoot a little short, because netting a big one is going to be really hard to do. I'm just going to use the same piece. See if I can get another one before I give up here. Okay, I think I just about had it with this wind. This is really crazy wind. I'm hoping it didn't screw up the audio of the video. I probably call this video crazy wind catfishing. I'm gonna reel all these up and I'm gonna head out. I don't like fishing this spot by myself because it's a cliff right here and it's really hard to net the fish. But I've caught some really quality fish here before. So give me a thumbs up if you like this video and thank you for watching.